Hello friends, Lee here from Tabletop Bong. Thanks for joining me. In this video, we're going to take a look at a few different analog devices and a few different torches for single heat extractions. If you're looking for a vaporizer that you can heat up once with, a, with a, a torch, so obviously an analog vaporizer, if you're looking for a single heat and then have it be hot enough to last through the full vaping cycle. That's what we're talking about today. I'm going to show you a few different devices that will do this, and I'm going to show you how I'm getting there. Okay, so I'm just going to go through it kind of quickly and talk about each one as we go. These are probably some of the most popular single heat extraction devices available today. So we have the Anvil, we have the Fusion from uh, the Danny Fusion from BFG. We have a Dynavap with an armor cap with a helix tip. We have the Stunner from Vapor Solutions. And we have the Terpsicle from the Rogue Waxworks. So these will all work with a single heat cycle to take you through the entire extraction. So that's pretty cool. Now we need to know also about torches. So I have a small single flame torch here. I have a double flame torch here, a triple flame torch here, a medium sized single flame torch and a big ass single flame torch. So I'm gonna show you which one I'm using for which device and how I'm doing it, like where to heat it, right? If you already have these devices and you're not really sure exactly what to do, this will also be super, super helpful. There is a lot of fun that goes along with single heat extractions. So it's not always necessarily about getting the most, like the biggest single draw when you heat it up. It's about having it heat up and last you through the vaping cycle, right? Whether it be two, three, four, five, six draws on the load, depending on how much you heat it up. I typically try to run pretty close to the line of combustion when I'm doing this. That's just kind of how I roll. So I'm gonna show you how to kind of walk the line for the most uh, stony effects possible, I suppose, from doing this. So let's start with the anvil. Now, before we get going, I'm gonna let you guys know where's my jar. I have preloaded all of these with this bud, which is AK-47 freshly cured from my grow this year, and it is quite effective. So I expect after hitting these five bowls back to back, I shall be slightly affected. <laughs> so it should be fun. All right, so what I'm gonna tell you when it comes to single heat extractions, these, this little lighter, this little uh, mini torch, doesn't really have the power it's not really going to get you anywhere that you want to go. The double flame you can work with. The triple flame and above you can work with, for sure. But they, they all are going to give you a bit of a different experience. For the most part, this larger, sort of medium size single flame that has the ability to throw up a pretty good size flame. I'm using this one quite a bit. And I'll tell you why I'm using this one for for single heat extractions quite often. Because when I can, you know, I can adjust the flame so I can, you know, bring that flame down if I want to into a smaller flame that's manageable with a Dynavap. Or I could take it right up for a bigger flame, um, you know, for, for something like the Anvil. Now, when it comes to uh, the Stunner... And uh, the Terpsicle, I'm going to use my big buddy here from uh, Blazer, and we're going to use a big ass flame, and we'll heat those up real quick. So let's just move this guy out of the way, because I mean, really, I'm not going to use this at all. If you're, you know, doing the heat and cool cycle with a Dynavap, this is a really good size torch to work with, right? Because you don't need a whole lot of heat when you're just heating, cooling, heating, cooling. But we're talking about throwing a lot of heat onto these analog vaporizers. Uh, we're really washing them over with a lot, a lot of heat so that they'll 
you know, almost overheat a little bit and then hang on to it. So one thing I'm gonna tell you about doing single heat extractions. Most of these vaporizers will heat build after the first draw. <laughs> so what I've learned to do is to draw a little bit slower and uh, yeah, not to overpower them, especially when you're running through a bong, right? When you're when you're doing these these big single heat extractions, most often you're running through a bong. So you, you wanna make sure you're not drawn as hard as you can on the bong because the bong will amplify energy um, as it's being pulled through the vaporizer. So you just need to be careful of that and I'll demonstrate that as we go. So this double flame torch, this is a really nice torch. You can use this for sure in many ways. I find I have the best control with, with this type of a flame. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this torch to heat the anvil and I'm going to shoot it right into this indentation right here. Okay, so there's a, a indent here and I'm going to just concentrate the flame right in there and I'm going to just heat this right there, you know, very low um, down here and uh, I'm just going to rotate it very slowly and once it clicks, that's it. We're gonna be able to, to go from there. So I've got a fairly good size flame and I'm gonna take the tip of the dark blue flame and that's what's gonna be hitting the vaporizer. Okay, so that's the way I'm doing it. And I'm just gonna kind of rock it back and forth and work around the edges here while I heat this up like this. So it's just right in that, that crack there, right at the bottom of the cap. And this anvil has the full bowl in it. And once it clicks, I'm gonna drop it in the bung and I'm gonna, it's almost there, starting to get a little, there we go. Yeah, nice double click. Okay, we'll drop it right here into this tabletop bung. In the tabletop bung today, I'm using a uh, five arm tree. And like I said, I want to slow the process down. So that's why I went with a five-arm tree. It's a bit of a slower stem than some of the more open, airy stems. I want this to really be able to take its time drying on this anvil. Cheers. So I'm just taking my time, nice, slow. Yeah, really nice. All right, I'm not gonna push my luck with any of them because I'm going to be uh, <coughs> having five of them back to back. So, but I'll show you, uh, you know, how thoroughly vaped that that was. So you can see when I say we're walking the line, you can see, you know, that's that's pretty vaped. Now that looks a little bit lighter than it actually is. And it's just because there's so much light shining on it. So we're definitely walked the line there. Whoever it was who dropped a comment about this sticking up and me passing out, I can't stop thinking about that every time I put it there. Now I have to do that. <laughs> I just thought I'd mention that. That's funny. Okay, so that was the anvil. Now let's go to the... Oh, I've already loaded this, so we don't need to do that part. I'll just drop a reducer in here. Now I'm going to use... Uh, you know what? Now, nah, let's use a big ass torch. So what I'm gonna do here, if I was gonna use this this torch with the big single flame, I would be aiming it right at the very bottom here, right where the cap meets, right there. But I'm gonna come up because I'm using, uh, I'm gonna use the big, big torch. I'm gonna aim for the bottom of this uh, lower silver band because it's a very wide, uh, wide flame and that's the thing you have to watch when you're using these bigger torches it has a wide flame so it like you just have to be careful of 
where you're heating. Um, yeah, so let's just get in and I'll just use this. This heats this up very quickly. And again, putting the tip, the bright blue tip of the flame onto the edge of the vaporizer and just rotating it slowly. And see that, that just already clicked, right? Super, super fast. I might need to add a touch more heat, but I'm just letting this heat soak just for a second here. No, I think we're good. Cheers. You know what? I'm just going to wash a tiny bit more heat on there. Because I, I normally, when I'm using this torch, I, I didn't do it. I normally go about two seconds past the click, three seconds past the click, just to get into that heavier vapor, and I didn't do it that time. That's what I like to see with the, the dandy when I'm doing a single heat extraction, just like that. <laughs> the flavor coming off of <coughs> this fusion, doing these, is it blows my mind every time. Really, really nice. you can see here in the Danny you know and that's the the brownest part of the, of the uh, weed coming out of it I know as soon as I empty it it's gonna just mix with the other so I'm not gonna bother trying but it uh, comes out a tiny tiny bit lighter than uh, the anvil did <coughs> and definitely I prefer much prefer the flavor uh, with the Danny fusion to to the anvil i find that uh it's just a it, it must be a softer heat process or something because it just seems to preserve more flavor okay dynabap here's what we're gonna do here okay so i have a dynabap with the helix tip and an armor cap and you can see that spot right there okay so it's right level with the bottom of the cap but on where you get the the dig out piece right I'm just going to heat right there with a smaller, I'm going to just reduce this flame down because I want to heat this a little bit slower. So I'm just going to go with a flame like that and I'm going to put that uh, dark blue touch in the metal of the vaporizer like I did on the last, uh, last two. And we're just going to let this go until it clicks. And uh, we're not going to really need to go beyond the click doing this. This takes a minute or two, but it gives you a really, really nice extraction without overheating the weed. And that's the trick, right? You can get all kinds of heat in these things if you want to, no problem. But if you're not, if you're putting the heat in too fast and you're overheating them, then you lose all the flavor, right? Like all the flavor. Cheers. So I've got this, the helix tip on the, uh, oh, that's really nice. On the Revolve 2 stem from Mad Heaters. <laughs> They're wicked stems. So that's the best way to, in my opinion, do a single heat extraction with the armor cap. <coughs> heat it a little bit slower, right? I didn't use a big flame. Go a little bit slower <coughs> and heat your armor cap just equal to the very, very bottom of the cap on the dig out piece. And it works really, really nicely, really nicely. So next we have the stunner. Uh, from Vapor Solutions, and I have this on a uh, rosewood stem from TS Wooden Art, 
And on the end, I've got a fat mouthpiece from Dynavap. It just makes it nice and comfortable. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna use this, uh, the Big Buddy from uh, Blazer. And what I'm gonna do with this, the trick with this is, you have to watch the flame when it's making contact with the metal. And we're gonna do the same basic thing here with the Terpsicle. Okay, so you wanna keep an eye on the flame. And when it is where it's making contact, when that turns orange, it's time to test it. Okay, so let's just, I'll show you what I mean. So I'm just kind of heating the top half of the cap and watching for the flame to turn orange. And now it's starting to turn orange and now it's orange. I'm gonna just put a tiny bit more heat to it. You're better off to, to go at this a couple of times, especially when it's cold. Uh, let's just make sure that's good. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's pretty close to the line there. Really, really flavorful. <coughs> Portable Volve, eh? <coughs> I can't wait for the, the Tempest. It's uh, just been released by Mad Heaters. Can't wait to get my hands on that so I can show it to you guys. It, it looks like a super cool one. It would be in this lineup if I had it. <coughs> and I was really there <coughs> using the airport and my uh, inhalation speed <coughs> to make sure that I didn't incinerate. <coughs> now here's a nice way to to do this with uh, <coughs> with the terpsicle. I can drop it right in the the top of the bong for now. I'm going to use the big old flame here. I'm just going to hang on to this piece at the bottom. And I'm gonna go ahead and heat the top up. And uh, the same as I did with the stunner, I'm gonna watch for it to turn orange. I'm gonna go a couple of seconds past that. Then I'm gonna just put a tiny bit of heat on here, put it all together, and it'll be a nice, beautiful single heat extraction. You know what, I'm gonna turn this up even higher. I'm just heating the sides. I'm not. Uh, I'm not going over the top. The quartz is starting to show the orange flame all the way around now. Okay, and we'll just wash a little bit of heat on here too, just like that, and put it together. Cheers. I'm gonna put just a tiny bit more heat to it. I'd always rather play it a little bit safe doing this, even if it means throwing a little more heat on it, than going over the edge and, and then ending up, you know, filling the bong with smoke and, you know, the just the flavor, I, I'm not big on it through all my gear. Yeah, that certainly took it right where I wanted it to go, didn't it? <coughs> All right, guys. <coughs> Those are some big single heat extractions. 
but I just wanted to go through and uh, I guess show a few examples and talk about the differences with the torches and <coughs> not to always think that the biggest torch is going to be the best idea. The goal is to match your torch to the vaporizer and to the way you're using it, right? So when you're going for the single heat extractions, you want to have a bigger flame and you want to go lower on your on your analog devices, but you just still want to be careful, right? You just, you want to uh, not overdo it. So that was, uh, those are my tricks anyway to get really good single heat extractions. And like I said, if you need to go back in and just apply a tiny bit more heat after the first draw, then, then do that. That's a far better plan than it is to push past, you know, the safe point and then start incinerating. Because, you know, and that just makes a mess of all your stuff, right? And you have to clean your vapes and all that stuff. So, you know, just that, that seems to be the trick for me, right? Just go a little less and test and add if you need to. All right. There you go. I hope you enjoyed this and I hope that you got something out of it. And if you're looking to do single heat extractions with your analog devices, I hope that helped you understand, you know, sort of which, uh, which torch will pair nicely with which device and how to go at it. All right, thanks very much for watching. Please hit that like and subscribe button. Until next time, take care.